there but the or only, something. The only person I would throw on the table, Computer. as far as this discussion goes, is Gigi Allen. I don't yeah. think he wanted to be a, a sellout because I don't think corporate America was going to really pick up on the fact that he would shit in his hand and throw it at his you audience. Didn't see that? <laughs> yes. He could have taken his own ass blood and painted a Target logo on his face. <laughs> so I this guess, banana and the asshole sponsored by yeah. Shakita. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Gigi Allen had uh, no <laughs> had corporate. Corporate American yeah. mind when he did half the shit he did. <laughs> so I would say GG out. He was terrible. But G -G like the was... Sex Pistols even, oh. come on. It got quite popular. Is this GG Allen? Yeah, yeah, yeah this of course. Is suck my ass, it smells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> suck my ass, it smells. Uh, uh, Gigi, could you change the name of your song? I don't think we could get it on radio for you. It's just awful. We can't have DJ say it's suck my ass, it smells. I'm sorry, sir. The this radio is, This edit. is Cornhole Lust. Cornhole uh, Lust, Jimmy. Cornhole lust. He really loved asshole music. You don't think Gigi Allen? Jimmy's getting mad. What's it's wrong? It's just fucking childish noise. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> just meaningless lyrics. Now, Eric it's Phony Rebellion. Just a guy who likes to throw shit at people. A monkey. <laughs> that was fucking horrible. <laughs> We got a guy. All right, let's move back to Gigi Allen because we got a guy in the line that actually. Poor Jimmy. You, you both made your points. Uh, Stig from Wackbag. What's up, Stig? You knew Gigi Allen? Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hi, Stig. Aww. Or say that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I knew him uh, <clears throat> way back in the 80s. I was in a band in high school. Uh, we used to open for him, and then uh, buddy, one of the guys from the band joined the Jabbers when I went to college. So, how and, was uh, he? The, your, how was he? How did they treat you as the opening band? Gigi was hysterically funny back in the day. Like, back before he shaved his head and became a heroin addict and stuff, he had, like, more hair. He wrote poppier, catchier stuff. To know him at like, five? He wrote uh, poppier, uh, poppier. Yes, he wrote Fuck My Face trying to get to the top of the billboard charts. <laughs> <laughs> so was he nice to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was a great guy. He was really a lot of fun. Believe Holy it or not. Shit. I mean, concerning what he became, he was, like, a great guy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he, Gigi's uh, bashing himself in the head with a microphone. He's tying okay. his dick out. Yeah. He's shoving bananas up his it's like, asshole. How much attention do you need? We get it. People. No one liked you. Right. No, but he had a, uh, uh, a scrapbook of rejection letters from every major label that he had tried to get record deals. He shouldn't he have been given one. He was awful. Oh, yeah, I know. But he, <laughs> I mean, he loved showing off the rejection letters. Like, he thought they were great. Yeah, you know, but he's... That was just the way he was. He just took a oh. shit on the stage. I mean, what do you expect uh, the, uh, the record just companies to do? A naked, weird guy. How do you fucking sell this shit to the people? <laughs> well, if you guys have anything by Gigi Allen and the Jabbers in the system, it's it's different than the, like, the scum fucks and murder junkie stuff. Okay. All right, yeah, we'll check it out. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, let's hear some of that. Um, Beating his head and bleeding. He said, why don't you just cut it out? Cut just, the malarkey, Gigi. Just belted <laughs> Oh, what's he doing now? This is something with duty, I'm sure. <laughs> it's duty and blood. We get it. Duty and blood. How and taboo. He, how does he, he make sure he always has duty ready to go, Jimmy? Yeah. I don't know. He just holds in shits all day until the show has to begin? He yeah. just looks silly running around with no clothes and his little rotten penis sticking out. It's like, who cares? <laughs> with shit smeared on his face. Fucking 30 guys in a fucking a, a tin-walled warehouse. It's fucking <laughs> nonsense. That's a shit. What they seem to be enjoying the show, yeah, Jimmy. Uh, just took running a into to each other. Penis. I mean, come Bunch on, of fucking assholes. <laughs> Cut the fucking malarkey. Put a song out that's not idiotic. <laughs> you would never go see Gigi. Why Allen would if you? He's alive. Get shit thrown. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if fucking if Sabbath kicked shit on me, and I certainly wouldn't mind if Paul Stanley kicked a log in my direction. But I don't want Gigi <laughs> Allen playing this noise, I, throwing duty at me. I guess the one thing we ask from our band is not to throw shit on us, that, or at least have a good song. <laughs> he's covered in shit and blood and then he stage dives yeah. and now he's throwing the mic at the, the audience and punching them in the face imagine Coldplay goes this direction they still have really good pop, pop <laughs> songs but they insist they have to throw duty on their audience oh, he's spitting, spitting on, on each audience. other yeah. just disgusting display of nothing is he considered um, a genius or no something? by who I know I, by I, who I wouldn't get it either but I think some people do consider him like no he was fucking horrendous avant-garde genius but he man. wasn't it was just awful yelling and screaming at each other like it seemed like the audience would go up and taunt him and then like run away before he can shit on you they treat him like a monkey in a cage 
Um, How did the band remember these songs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do Shit in a Hat for the encore. <laughs> they they want to hear Piss on a Baby, but I say Shit in a Hat should be the closing number. Oh, All right, I'll play the same. Are you sure, though? I don't know. Piss on a Baby does very well. Yeah, but it's, it's too romantic. <laughs> Steve from Bay Show has got to go on. He says Coldplay does throw shit at their audience. It's called their music. Oh! <laughs> oh, Steve from Bayshore. Jimmy, what? One I could read. <laughs> you know, every band has that one song where you got to pull out your lighter, man. Or nowadays, it's your, yeah. it's your phone. Exactly. Uh, what would the Gigi Allen lighter song be? Dynamite Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him trying to be all profound. Now I'm going to die. Stuck it up my ass. Guys, we found a band that never sold out. You want to find out who it is? G.G. Allen. G.G. Allen, the murder junkies. <laughs> uh, Dave in Maryland's got the band that never sold out, my friends. Dave? Uh -huh. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's hey, up? Uh, yeah, Steely Dan, <laughs> one of the greatest bands ever. Never had to advertise their music spoke for them. Steely Dan fucking stinks. That's why I took the call. <laughs> you don't like Steely Dan? No, I Steely don't. Dan, Jimmy? They're fucking horrendous. Why? Play me a Steely Dan song. Well, well which one? Which I one, don't know. Which one should we play for Jimmy there, Dave? Um, K-19? Uh, no. Um, let me see. Uh, Time Out of Mind. All right, stay on the line, Dave. We'll play Time Out of Mind by the... <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> sucking shit out of someone's ass. There's a picture of Gigi Allen sucking shit off a plate. It's like, I don't mind if you do that, but don't call it your show. <laughs> do that in the backstage. Don't make us pay to watch that. I'm not a fucking jerk. <laughs> he really bothers you. Because it's, I'm a performer. I get it. I know what it is. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> You're stealing that, Jimmy. Enjoy. They never sold out. Turn this up. That's a little jazz fusion. Fucking is, awful. I call it a little jazz fusion. Is this a deep cut? Yeah, it sure is. I had to play a lot of Steely Dan over the years. I never played this yeah. one. Yeah. Not even on the deep cut weekend. This is fucking boring. Play, could you play a song? Oh, what's a song that's really popular? Yeah, play a popular uh, reeling in, reeling, uh Reeling in the years. I know that one. I mean, reeling in uh, the years. Black Friday. What's that one? Hey, Black Little Hey 19. 19. Uh, uh, do it again. Uh, They're just bores. They sound like the Doobie Brothers or the Eagles. They're just fucking <laughs> boring white guys with fucking Michael McDonald beards. That's what they remind me of. Oh, minute bomb. I didn't. Bomb, I didn't mind Steely Dan. I didn't mind him. What's the name of that album? Oh, Deacon Gigi Blues. Thank you, Redding. Yeah, Deacon Blues is a good song. We're looking at a Gigi Allen fucking picture. Is that an album cover? <laughs> no, it's, a, it's an old gig poster. Uh, two Steely Dan members went to the Doobie Brothers. Is that true? Probably. That's what Denver Pest is saying. Tom Ladd from Chicago sums up Steely Dan. Steely Dan equals self-indulgent eight-hour guitar tuning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are the names of some of the fucking Gigi Allen's albums on? Um? Well, they're all... Uh, he, 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 yeah. He Turned down this. by major labels. Of course you are. You're fucking terrible. This is all right. It's not a terrible song. Oh, Peg. Thank you, David F. Can't I stand stay. corrected. It's awful. The fucking 70s melodic harmonizing uh, well, fucking fruits. But it was the it's 70s. Awful. What exactly. were they supposed to do? Fleetwood Mac. They all that <laughs> shite. <laughs> what were they supposed to do? Start yeah. playing grunge? Then? How about that? <laughs> Did fucking Sabbath harmonize? You think your fucking Tony put his fucking three-fingered hand into the fucking mic and toodaloo in there? <laughs> While Ozzy was fucking belting out of tune. Ozzy, a little bit of a sellout, Jimmy. Never. When everyone else started oh. putting hairspray in their fucking hair. <laughs>